I want to do that. That's what I want to do. I want to teach economics, and I want to do it as well as that guy does it. My name is Emily Chamley Wright. I am a proud alumna of George Mason University and the Mercatus Center. I am also a board member of the Mercatus Center, and I am currently the president and CEO of the Institute for Humane Studies at George Mason University. My journey began as someone who wanted to do something practical that would complement her somewhat impractical desire to work in the arts. I was a student of dance, and so it looked like the arts was going to be my, my career path. And I also knew, though, that, that I needed to be realistic, that working at the top tier as a performer was just not in the cards for me. I knew that, but I knew I wanted to be in the business. So I was thinking the practical thing to connect the two would be to get a business degree, because that would allow me to have a career in business administration in the arts, for example, or in arts administration. And so along the path of getting my business degree, I had to take an econ course, and this was at George Mason University. I was terrified at taking that course, and I studied really hard, and it turns out that I had an affinity for it, and I really loved it, and I really wanted to do more of it. And as soon as I asked when my next econ class was, they said, no, you're done. Now it's all finance and accounting from here on out. And I thought, what a shame, I want to do more econ. So I took that as a sign that maybe I needed to change majors. So I shifted my major to economics as an undergraduate student. And pretty soon I met Don Lavoie, who was a professor within the center that would become the Mercatus Center. Don's courses were transformational for me. Really early on in my work with Don, he would turn to his students and he would ask the question, you know, how is it that a civilization that produced some of the greatest philosophy, the greatest music, the greatest works of art of all time, how is it that that society systematically murdered six million of its own people? That question stopped me in my tracks. And then he asked me the question, and what is it about the economic policies that that regime pursued that is part of the answer to that question? And he said that it was our duty as students of economics to understand the connection between the economic policies that are pursued within a regime and these kinds of systemic outcomes, atrocities like the world had never seen before. And from there I was hooked. The hairs on the back of my, my arms still stand up when I think about that moment. And that evening I went home and I kept thinking about it. What was it that I was going to do with this, this profound experience of learning economics in this way from this particular professor. And the answer just came back like a thunderbolt, which was, I want to do that. That's what I want to do. I want to teach economics, and I want to do it as well as that guy does it. And so Mercatus, right from the beginning, uh, was part of forming me as a scholar and set me on my career path as an academic. And that eventually turned into academic leadership as a dean and provost of a small liberal arts college. But it then also brought me full circle back to George Mason, where I'm now the president of the Institute for Humane Studies. Thank you.